Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster with Ben. Uh, I have been spending quite a bit of time here just chilling out, waiting while my mining turtle gets digging and doing a bit of cooking up of stuff. I've got a load of charcoal on the go, I've been cooking off smooth stone and I am generally getting near starving to death. Nom 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 nom. Very nice. We've got a few more chests now because we've got a load of stuff coming up. And the most important thing we've got is four diamonds. Yay. So we've had a few more bits and bobs come up, some more mimicite, loads more of the quantum dust. So we're getting somewhere. And let's go see what goodies it has at the moment. The one thing I forgot to mention when I was doing this yesterday is that if you log out whilst this mining turtle is running, uh, the program isn't designed to automatically resume when you come back on, so the computer will be stopped down the bottom of a hole. So don't do that, make sure the turtles come back up before you log out, and you'll be fine. And it has finally finished with that level. So it just dug out uh, level 6, wasn't it? And when it does level 6, it also checks the level above it, level 7. So this time we want to send it to level 9. Because that will cover... Ooh, not level 666. Level 9. Because that way it's covering everything. Off he goes, and with a bit of luck to find a few diamonds. So why am I cooking up endless amounts of uh, cobblestone into smooth stone? Well it's because we are going to start building today. And we are going to be building in stone bricks, at least a little to start off with. So let's get back up onto the top of this massive rock. Well, it's more of a tiny little hill, but let's not be nasty to it. Uh, okay, here we are up on the top. So we're going to start our building over here, I think. There's my lookout tree that I start from sometimes. Now the entrance, I think, is going to be over here, somewhere in among all these trees. And over here, you may notice, there is this little depression in the ground, which I'm probably going to fill in at some point. There's a cat over there. I'm thinking I could build walls along that side and make this sort of a farming type area. But what I want to do here is build some sort of big tower to fit at the front and it's quite a narrow space so I don't know how big a tower I'm actually going to get. Now Minecraft. Minecraft is square and so the easiest thing you can possibly build in Minecraft are square boxes. Now the problem is square boxes really 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 boring. You can also build on uh, diagonals, so you can build one forward, one across, one forward, one across, whatever, and you get triangles, and they're a nice shape, we use them for roofs a lot. And you can also build circles, and the best way to build circles is to get a circle template. If you just type in um, Minecraft circle template into your favourite internet search engine. Uh, it'll turn up plenty of results of little pictures with um, circles on. And these are all really cool shapes. But the best way 
to... Oh, I'm going to leave that there, aren't I? That's going to annoy me. But the very best shapes, or the very best um, buildings, I should say, are when you actually join multiple shapes together. So you take two squares and put them together, or you take... Um, A, a square and a circle, so you've got a room with a round tower, something like that. And that's when you get the most interesting shapes. And I really don't know what I'm going to do here, because this is really quite narrow. It might have to go back quite a bit into that. That's going to be really annoying. So the first thing we're going to do is level this off a bit. Which is going to take a little bit of time. So yeah, so what I like to do is try and just butt different shapes together. If you get two um, different size squares and just slot them in together, you get a really interesting shape and that's a really nice shape to make like modern houses and stuff. What I'm intending doing with this is building round watch towers with some squarish buildings. Uh, maybe a few curved walls to fit round the shape of the hill and various lookout towers and things like that. So that's my aim. And I'm aiming to get up here because I want to build a nice big room there goes my shovel to um, start building the machinery in. And then I want to migrate everything out of that dingy little hole and up here where there's a bit of a nice view and we can start building awesome buildings and plenty of machinery at the same time. So I think I'm going to want to probably take this down another couple of levels. I know I'm sort of flattening the hill out which I didn't really want to do but I'm just going to go and do that and I will see you in a few. Okay, welcome back. I've levelled this out a little bit more and I've been looking at some of my options. And what I've decided is that this tower is going to probably actually overhang the edge quite a bit, even if this bit of the tower isn't really going to be used, which is going to cost me a ton of cobblestone, but I think it'll be worth it because it will look absolutely awesome. So. My first job is to work out about where I want the centre of the tower to be. And I'm thinking a little bit forward, a little bit this way. Let's go for here. There we go, that's it. The tower is going to centre there, I think. Now, what I've got to decide is how big to make it. I think I'm going to make it completely round. I could do like a semicircle, but I think it's going to be completely round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight, nine this way. So I have gone off by one there. Okay. So that will be the front face, and I think that'll look pretty cool actually. So that was nine, wasn't it? Oh, ow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight in between. So what's eight this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then the next one out is how I think I've done it. So that's, I mean, that's going to be a pretty big tower, actually. I think that'll be big enough for me. If it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the next one. Yeah, it won't be massive, but probably at some point, if this is the biggest tower, it might become the Mistcraft room or something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the next one, of course. So, big lag spike. Wow. So, this castle is going to develop extremely organically. I'm just going to keep adding bits, so don't expect anything even remotely symmetrical or anything like that. Right. So that's that corner. So now what we can do is look at our circle template. So, it is... Nine, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus nine is eighteen, and the middle one makes nineteen. So it's nineteen across, and according to my little circle template, we are going to go three this way. I'm going to mark the one that's the actual corner. Then a two out. And I'm going to run out of cobble, really. Run out of um, smooth stone, really. Smooth stone? I'm going to run out of stone bricks, not to mention brain power, really quickly. Right, then we want another one at an angle like that. And then we want another two. And then we are over here. So let's... Oh no. We ought to really go down and do it from the bottom. Ow. I'm going to get quite injured quite quickly. And that looks to me like... Oh yeah, that um, posts out by one, isn't it? That's fine then. Now, at the minute, I'm doing this entire thing in the stone um, bricks. Now, the second rule of making things look awesome according to me is contrast, by which I mean... Is that the centre? That is not the centre. This one's the centre. By which I mean... You don't use the same uh, material for everything, otherwise you just get this sort of featureless blank wall. And that's why I'm going to try to incorporate things like um, jungle wood and jungle wood planks and a variety of different colour stuff, even just putting bits of um, cobble and smooth stone in <clears throat> makes it look much more interesting. So, just for now, I'm just blocking it in. But once it is blocked in, I'll start prettifying it a bit, a bit later. Am I building this on top of a tree? Well, that's not a very good foundation, is it? That's absolutely terrible. Right, and we're about to run out of smooth stone. But you can see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep filling this circle in until it's a nice big loop. So I shall carry on and I'll try not to kill myself. I'll carry on with this for a while and I'll be back when I've done. 
Well, welcome back to what I'm rapidly calling the kitchen because I now have lots of furnaces on the go cooking up cobblestone into smooth stone. So, what have I been up to? Well, if we go off up to the viewing tree, which is just over here, you'll see I've spent a lot of time working out that I can't count. Basically, when you start working with these circle templates, you find out that you can't add up to three to save your life. So, here we go. The tower. It's all looking very, very um, round and really quite bland at the moment because I haven't actually got round to doing anything more than um, putting the stone bricks in. And there's also a very glitchy creeper over there. And let's go have a look. Oh, ow. And if we go around and climb up this way, it's starting to get dark already. Or maybe climb up this way, that would be even better. There isn't a way in at the moment, so I'll just have to chop a way in. And here we are. It's all perfectly well lit up, and it's all rather big and rather round. So the next job will be uh, putting a floor in here. It's all pretty much mob-proof now. Um, spiders can obviously just climb straight up the walls and walk right in, but creepers can't, which is my main worry. And I've lit it up all over. And the trick to doing that, if you don't know, is if you press the F7 key, you get this overlay. The yellow um, crosses are where mobs will spawn when it's night time. And any red crosses, there's one down there, are where it's dark enough for mobs to spawn at any time of the day. So all you have to do is go around, putting torches in until all the crosses have gone and then you're absolutely safe so for next time we will start with putting a few bits of um, engines and machines in here and we'll also try and prettify it up a little bit in time for next time but until then thank you very much for watching and we'll see you then